Hi everyone, it's Agnieszka Murdoch from 5-Minute Language. Today we're going to talk about English past tenses. I'm going to talk to you about each past tense in English. But first I want to ask you to leave me a comment and tell me what do you think is the most difficult English past tense to learn? Make sure you comment below. So today we're going to talk about all the different past tenses. So the past simple, the past continuous, the past perfect, the past perfect continuous and also two different phrases to talk about the past, used to and would. We are also going to talk about the differences between the different tenses. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a story about last weekend. So something that I did last weekend to illustrate the different past tenses in English. So last weekend I went to Whitstable. Whitstable is a small town in England. It's by the seaside and I really like going there. It's lovely. It's quite a touristy place, but it's really nice and quiet sometimes. So I went to Whitstable last weekend. When I say I went, that's the past simple. I'm talking to you about something that happened at a particular point in the past and it's a finished action. It happened last week, last weekend. So I went to Whitstable because I wanted to have some fish and chips. I wanted to have some fish and chips last week. I'm talking again about a particular moment in the past and that's what the past simple is for. Usually we use it to talk about something that happened in the past and is finished. And we often talk about when exactly that action happened. So I wanted to have fish and chips because fish and chips in Whitstable is really, really good. The fish is fresh and the chips are really well made. So I went there last weekend to have some fish and chips. But first, when I got to Whitstable, I sat down on a bench to read my book. I sat down on a bench. Again, that's the past simple. It was an action that was a one-off thing in the past. It happened when I got there, it's finished, it's in the past. So I use the past simple tense. When I was sitting on the bench, I saw lots of seagulls. So I was sitting on the bench is the past continuous. It was a continuous action that was happening for a longer period of time. So for example, when I got to Whitstable, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. I was sitting on a bench. It was a continuous action and while I was sitting on the bench I saw a seagull. So this is an example of a sentence when you're talking about a continuous action that was interrupted by another thing. So sitting was the continuous action and I saw a seagull was the thing that interrupted it. It was just a quick action that happened whilst I was sitting on the bench. So I had actually been to Whitstable before when I went, that wasn't the first time. I had been there before, many times. And so I had been is the past perfect tense. And it's something that we use to talk about something that happened before something else in the past. So I had been there. So me going to Whitstable happened in the past and my previous trip happened before that in the past. So it's like the past before the past. I had been to Whitstable many times before. It's the past perfect tense. So I was sitting on the bench and I was reading my book, past continuous, and suddenly I noticed a stain on my top. 
So I noticed is in the past simple because it's a one-off action in the past. It's completed and it was just a quick event. I noticed something. I noticed there was a stain on my top and I thought to myself, I had been drinking coffee. That's probably why the stain is there. I had been drinking coffee 10 minutes before. So this is the past perfect continuous tense. And again, it's something that happened before something else in the past. So my story is in the past. I was sitting on the bench in the past. Before that, I was drinking coffee. So to make it clear that the coffee was happening before sitting on the bench, I need the past perfect continuous. And also I can see the result of the coffee drinking. There is a stain, I spilled my coffee. So it's the past perfect continuous. It's to talk about an action that started in the past and it had consequences for something else that happened in the past. Okay, when I was a child, I used to go to Margate, not Whitstable. So Margate is another small town in England and it's by the seaside. I used to go there as a child. Used to is a phrase for talking about something that was um, a recurring action, a habit maybe, that happened in the past frequently, but it doesn't happen anymore. So now I go to Whitstable because I live close to Whitstable. I don't go to Margate because it's too far. So I used to go to Margate. I can also say I would go to Margate in the past. Would means pretty much the same. So you can say, I used to go to Margate or I would go to Margate. I used to get fish and chips in Margate. I would get fish and chips in Margate, but now I get fish and chips in Whitstable. So both phrases, used to and would, are used to talk about something that used to happen, that happened in the past, but it doesn't happen anymore. So it's just another way to talk about the past in English. So what's the difference between I read a book in Whitstable and I was reading a book in Whitstable? So I read is the past simple. I was reading is the past continuous. So I read is a completed action. I went to Whitstable, I sat on the bench and I read my book. I finished it. It's actually something that happened and it's completed. I was reading is a continuous action. It happened over a period of time and I want to emphasize the fact that it was continuous. So for example, in the morning between the hours of 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. I was reading my book. What's the difference between I ate fish and chips and I had eaten fish and chips? So I ate is the past simple. I just use it to talk about the different events on that day when I'm telling you my story from Whitstable. So I arrived, I sat on the bench and I ate my fish and chips. I had eaten is the past perfect. So I need to use it to talk about something that happened before something else in the past. So I sat on the bench and I had already eaten my fish and chips. So I am talking about the past, the moment when I sat down and to make it clear that the fish and chips happened before, I need to use the past perfect. So I sat down, but I had already eaten at that point in the past. And what is the difference between I had drunk and I had been drinking? So the first one is the past perfect. I had drunk my coffee. And the second one is the past perfect continuous. So I had been drinking. The past perfect and the past perfect continuous is used to talk about 
something that happened before something else but also to talk about something that started in the past and was still true at the time of another event in the past. So for example, last year I had had my car for a year. So that was true one year ago. I got my car one year before that point. I had been drinking coffee for 20 minutes when I sat down means that I started drinking coffee 20 minutes before I sat down, which was in the past. So that's the past perfect continuous. And that is the difference. So just to recap, we've been talking about the different past tenses in English. The past simple, so for example, I went to Whitstable, it's to, you, it's to talk about events in the past that are completed and we usually talk about when exactly that happened. I went to Whitstable last weekend. The past continuous, which is to talk about continuous events that were happening over a period of time. So for example, this morning in Whitstable, I was drinking my coffee uh, between eight and nine. The past perfect is to talk about something that happened before something else in the past. So when I sat down on the bench, I had already eaten my fish and chips. So that happened before the action of sitting down, which is also in the past. And the past perfect continuous, which is about something that was a continuous action that happened before something else in the past. So. I noticed a stain and then I remembered that I had been drinking coffee for the past 10 minutes before that. And then we've got used to and would. So these are things for talking about something that was true in the past, but it's not true anymore. So I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you leave me a comment and tell me what do you think is the most difficult English past tense to learn. Um, and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.